Just recently, a new deal has come to light, and if everything goes according to plan, it might just change the way we interact with the internet completely. Because as it turns out, in May of this year, SpaceX, Elon's company which is famous for, well, going to space, has also been slowly building up an internet satellite network, and signed a deal with none other than the tech god, Google. This historical deal not only makes the future Elon envisions more likely, but will also directly affect each of our individual lives. If there's one thing that you can expect Elon Musk to do, it's to make decisions that won't only benefit him as a businessman, but ones that can legitimately impact the way the world works. One of the ways he does this is by opening partnerships that will benefit the public, be it allowing other electric cars to charge at their superchargers, or literally working with China to make electric vehicles a norm there. It seems there's nothing that Elon can't do with the right partner. So let's take a look at some of the things that the deal is related to and how they'll impact you. The Deal now, looking at the objectives of both of these companies, Starlink, trying to become the world's biggest and most robust internet network, and Google, trying to make their cloud network more widely available and, well, just plain bigger, it's not a surprise that both jumped at the opportunity to join forces for this endeavor. As Bikash Kohli, Google's head of global networking, would say, the power of combining cloud with universal secure connectivity, it's a very powerful combination. This goes to show that combining the world's largest network with the fastest growing cloud on that network is a move that benefits both. The CEO of the Google Cloud Group, Thomas Kurian, has said that SpaceX chose them because of the quality of our network and the distribution and reach of our network. And then there are the company histories, because as it turns out, this is not the first time Google and SpaceX have interacted. Since in 2015, Google invested $900 million into the space company to cover an array of technology, including Starlink satellite manufacturing. And so with all of that on the table, I don't think it's a surprise that they're collaborating. If that's not convincing enough, we have the next major point, the competition. By far, the most active reason for the companies joining together has to be their common threat. Because as they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And Google and SpaceX face one of the strongest common enemies there is, Amazon. <laughs> From the fact that Amazon is the literal founder of the cloud processing industry with a launch in 2006 of general purpose computing and storage tools from its Amazon Web Services division, with Google coming onto the scene with its own computing service all the way later in 2012. And while you guys may already be familiar with Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' answer to Musk's SpaceX, that's not the only place the tech giants go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The far more terrifying prospect is the Kuiper Project from Bezos' Amazon, which aims to launch well over 3,000 satellites in roughly the same orbit as Starlink for the exact same purpose, to become the sole source of the world's largest ISP network. With Amazon Web Services still being way ahead of Google in raw usage, and Kuiper having enough backing to make Elon reconsider his choices, the only logical outcome for the companies was to join forces. What is Starlink? With the EV world and the new space race both moving almost as fast as the cars and rockets that involve them, it's hard to keep track of everything Elon Musk is doing. One moment, he's out drilling holes in the Earth to make supersonic trains, while another, he's planning to fly millionaires to space. So it's easy to miss this tiny subsection of just one of his companies. But don't be fooled, guys, because although everything he does will impact everyone eventually, Starlink might just be on the doorstep of the entire world's population in a few years. Because that's exactly what the plan is for this company, to provide quality, high-speed, clean internet at an affordable cost to every single location on this planet, and all of that without having to lay a single optical or other cable to anyone's home. Before you brush this off as something that's going to happen in the far future, don't be fooled, as the company has already launched 1,625 satellites in space, with 1,550 already in functional orbit. If you haven't guessed already, that's how the company hopes to accomplish this future, by sending thousands of these satellites into space to create a blanket of the internet over the entire surface of the Earth. Although satellite TV and stuff like that is nothing new, those things are generally extremely slow and need ridiculously complicated equipment to do something as simple as watching one stream of video. It's for that reason that the internet is almost always provided using massive cable networks underground and under the sea. That is, until now. With SpaceX's robust experience in orbit, and Elon's other companies all providing valuable R&D, it's only a matter of a few years before that internet is available to literally anyone who lives under the sky. With plans to sell small, portable dish antennas that can connect to satellites in the remotest of locations, from a campsite in the Amazon to a jeep roof in the Sahara, 
this technology will affect the future and day-to-day -day lives of billions of people. And hell, if you want to know just how fast that future is approaching, the Starlink beta has already been up and running since last year and has amassed a huge 10,000 users across the US, Canada, and a few European countries, with at least 500,000 deposits of $100 placed by potential customers of the service. Now, that's enough about Starlink. The next thing that we should talk about is, of course, Google Cloud. The Unseen Background World Now, while Starlink is all glamour and shine, the Google Cloud is something you'll rarely actually interact with while knowing that you're doing so. And the reason for that is, well, you've already interacted with it every day you've been on the internet. From your expected Google applications like Gmail and YouTube, to thousands of websites all across the internet that all use Google's pre-built servers and connections to run, it's not an overstatement to say that Google Cloud is practically everywhere. From giving small websites access to stuff like Google Play, AdSense, plugins and card payments, to more basic stuff like storage, communication, and computing, the cloud is the backbone of a ton of things that millions of users rely on daily. As a result, it's no surprise that while you and I know Google for stuff like Chrome, Search, and YouTube, their cloud service is slowly becoming the backbone of their business, with them slowly moving towards strengthening this side of things. In fact, investors are already betting on the cloud to become Google's biggest hustle, because although they still rely on ads right now, in the future, stuff is about to change, judging from the fact that while the cloud business delivered only 7% of the company's revenue in the first quarter, it grew almost 46% year over year, compared with growth of 32% for Google's advertising services. Other partners You see, before the Google deal became official, SpaceX had already started to get its foothold in getting cloud computing partners in the form of none other than Microsoft and their network named Azure, which became a partner of SpaceX all the way back in October. Although they are smaller than both Google and Amazon, Azure is still a major player in Microsoft's Windows and Office side of things. Not to mention that getting such a big partner to team up with you is always going to be a good thing. According to a Microsoft spokesperson who wrote to CNBC, their partnership with Starlink provides high-speed, low-latency satellite broadband and will extend their capabilities with worldwide satellite connectivity and unblocked cloud computing in more scenarios. What all of this means is that Starlink is not only trying to become big as a simple ISP, but is already gathering support from the internet's biggest players, effectively guaranteeing the success of their eventual goal. And that finally brings us to the future of the internet. All of that sounds nice and good, but what exactly does this deal signify other than just another mishmash of corporate mumbo jumbo? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. First off, it marks SpaceX, one of the world's biggest privately held companies, having raised money at a $74 billion valuation in February as the prime choice of one of the world's absolute giants in the tech and internet industries, effectively making the future fall snugly into their hands. More specifically though, as said by a statement from Gwen Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, combining Starlink's high-speed, low-latency broadband with Google's infrastructure and capabilities provides global organizations with the security secure and fast connection that modern organizations expect. She went on to say that they are proud to work with Google to deliver this access to businesses, public sector organizations, and many other groups operating around the world. And that's about it. With a simple aligning of interests, these two companies from entirely different worlds are moving toward becoming one of the biggest factors in what shapes the internet as well as our future. And that brings us to the end of our video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more.